So, someone basically knowed about their game having a demo put out, basically on the Reddit for roguelikes. I figured why not, let's check out Dungeon Dungeon. See what's in store with it. I assume this is going to be very traditional by the way, because like, you know, it's basically in like the um, roguelike Reddit, so there's that. Old AVG. There we go. Demo Gorbo's Quest, the Dungeon Dungeon Awaits. Bugs, feedback. Get options. Uh, I don't see one for um, audio, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. We got palettes. We got achievements. And we got tutorial. It awaits. For centuries, the Dungeon Dungeon has tempted adventurers into its depths. Although many have entered, none have made it to the 100th floor. Let's start by looking at how your character moves. So we got basically Q W E A D Z S C. X to pass a turn. I'll be, I'll be like, you know, blunt here, I'm really not a big fan of having like, X is like, you know, a pass turn, right now under the S. We basically have like, you know, the S be like the down key, and like X be the pass, or like the S be the pass turn. But whatever. The big thing to take note is that you use normal wise movement with add buttons for extra direction. On the next page, we'll see a few other controls. Interesting, we got some music there. Although there's a few ways to interact with things, here's the basics. Right click to inspect, left click to select an inventory or to attack an enemy, double left click to use a consumable in inventory, drag items from your inventory and the world with a left click. These are just some basic controls and the next page will give you some more complex hotkeys <sighs> which are not necessary for play. It's basically got like, you know, Mouse controls. Hotkeys. Why do you have the utility used for dropping items? Whatever. Uh, one, backspace, select, inventory slot. R, pick up item. F, use item. I, events, stat info. These are very odd, like, you know, hotkey choices. I don't know why I basically have them. Why are they, like, say this out, like, D for drop or, um,. Well, one of backspace is basically just like, you know, used for like, you know, um, select inventory slot and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, R for pickup, back, you know, YS has a, uh, the usual G for that. F for use, I'm basically fine. I for advanced info is probably alright. Every time you attack or finish moving, your turn ends and enemies take your turn. You have the basics, the dungeon dungeon awaits. And yeah, you should just have like a finish here. Or it's main menu, whatever. Alright, we have 10 mana. HP 20 to 20. Floor 1, level 1. Defense 10, speed 1 of 1. Dungeon Dungeon Awaits. Tunnels. The Dungeon Dungeon's first layer. Although all Delvers may pass through this layer, remember that passage does not guarantee further travel. Two Gogs Intelligence Short Sword deals 1d7 plus 5, five mind damage. So you have like, you know, different damage types. Interesting sort of message log here. Token. Poor guy. It bears his icon. Grants 18 temporary mana. You know, I almost feel like you should be able to use like the mouse controls to sort of move around, but whatever. Um, 
Okay, we got the item here. I sort of feel this could be probably be like, you know, listed with like numbers. Or something, just to make it a little easier to see. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'll say this right now, very clunky movement. So... The cruelty of Griego rivals Davo life. Small healing potion, Scarlet Red heals 1d4 plus 4 health. All right, so you can click this to kill stuff. Oops, that thing killed me. You died. A spout killed you. Um, the pickup control seemed a little awkward. Like they won't seem to respond very quickly. I mean, it looks nice, but that's not the main thing that basically people kind of play Rolex for, it's for like the gameplay itself. So, if the gameplay isn't fluid, you're going to have issues. Like, I should be able to just click this, press R, and like it instantly picks up, or I click it like, you know, the screen and it picks up or something. Slime, deceptively cute, moves in a square pattern. A rat, painfully common, moves in a square pattern. What's a square pattern basically mean, by the way? Does that mean like that's how he attacks, or? A Gorbo. Rotund and vile moves in a cross pattern. Okay, how's my HP doing here, I wonder? Rat Tail. Adventurers used this to carry them with the belief that they would bless them with speed. Gain one chance speed. Okay. Fish Stick. A sea blue color heals 1d4 plus 2 health. The dungeon dungeon awaits. Recall that the dungeon dungeon is ever evolving. Your adventure in, in will be unlike any other. Other adventures. So yeah, it's real like. Makes sense. Dark Short Sword deals deep down 2d7 plus 8 dark damage. Egg Short Sword deals 1d6 plus 2 sharp damage. I'm not really sure what to say about all the damage types, by the way. Like, you know, what's the purpose of them? Is there a point? I'm not really sure. I know, by the way, it's sort of hard to see, like, you know, the walls and stuff in here. That might be by design, but, you know... Okay, known for some. There's a map potion. Apple, bandage. Echoes hint at the size of space. 
In a monument, there are plenty of echoes, but they take hours to arrive. Shield. Sturdy and reliable. Gives an extra free defense. Glacial Hand Axe. Deals 2d8 plus 14 cold damage. Now here's a question by the way. Are these basically helping me, I wonder? These like, you know... Passive items like this, maybe? A crab, covered in heavy shell, fairly dangerous, moves in a cross pattern. Doesn't seem to be a wait button, by the way, just to throw it out there, so... That's probably something you probably want to have, like a wait button. This doesn't seem to be like, you know, um, designed to be like a bro like, so, yeah. I wonder if, like, killing stuff basically has any effect or if I, like, you know, gain levels or anything from that. Well, healing potion. Penetrating 1. Cost 2 mana. Deals 1d18 plus 2 pierce damage. A sludge. As goopy as it is droopy. Moves in a square pattern. Oh yeah, I know how to wait. Press X. Duh. Okay, level up. How does this work, this wand? I'm not sure. How much farther will you go? Probably not that much farther, by the way, because I'm not really finding much interest here. By the way, it would be a good idea to have like some sort of like help button to like you know, um, help the like the the player basically understand all the key layouts. Like press like question mark and basically like you know see like what the like you know key bindings basically are. My opinion here is, is very low of this game this far. Like, you know, if this was basically a 70 rel, I would not think much of the key, of the key scheme. And I've basically been judging, like, you know, 70 rels for, like, the past few months. This is, like, going to be, like, a game on Steam. So you have a much higher bar, basically, to, like, you know, appeal to your audience. And this is, like, not very good for, like, appealing to, like, a wider audience. Let's heal up a little bit. A moi shoots arrows around it in a large cross shape. You know, it would be nice if you actually like, could click on these guys and see like where their like you know sort of attack pines are maybe. Here we 
here goes the moi. Siphon. Countless souls are trapped within. Grants one siphon power. Increasing experience gained. Let's get this. Oh, I feel like he used the mouse to sort of select this stuff, which is fine, but you know. Don't think it will stay anywhere. I haven't figured out how to use these just yet, but whatever. There's not a whole lot of feedback, by the way, when I like, switch items or so, like, pick up the same type of item, so. That could probably be improved a little bit. Is this like uh, a dark type of item, I wonder? Not really sure. Stim. The needle is rusty. The aqua liquid inside it swishes around with great fluidity. Grants 1d3 decay speed. No idea what that is. I don't really need this. They okay, finally dropped an item. I'll make it back from multiple shields. I got a chance to speed, I guess. That's cool. Let's get the heal. You do get extra defense for having multiple defense items. That's worth noting. Oh, I see. A rumbling comes from a distance, a horde appears. So monsters basically come in hordes. And yeah, I know you know what this basically does, these wands. It doesn't seem like there's any attack area for them. Interesting. You can basically wait for horse to basically come to like you know attack you and such. Hmm. Again, awkward controls. Don't get too focused on the tunnels. Remember that many more layers await. It seems to be missing a head. A fishing well. Okay, there's the fish right there. Beak fish. The beak is sharp. A predator. Defense token. Calling on his mark grants you 2d10 plus 6 decay defense. Cost 13 mana. Okay, so, we used up our mana to get some extra defense there. I guess the K is like, you know, it basically decays over time. Ha <laughs> ha! 
YOU! EXCUSE ME! If you make a pass, that which works in a 10th layer. Well, I'm not gonna go that far, I don't think, but you know. All who enter dungeon never, dungeon never leave. Well, that sucks. Oh, I know seeing my mana doesn't come back, so I guess like mana is like something that like you know doesn't regenerate. You have to use like potions or like Diablo style. It feels like a lot of stuff hasn't been explained by way as well. Like you know, this defense basically reduces like you know um, one defense or like you know or one damage for every defense point you have or something like that, or is it, like defense the chance like of dodging or something like that. use this. Oh, it's regen. That's nice. I'm not sure what's up with the crab. They sort of like go back and forth. There's blunt damage. A cat. Very scrunky. Moose in an X pattern. We kill off the gasser. Necklace. It's blessing slowly bestows healing to the wearer. Grants two passive heal chance. Here's a cat. So you can't actually hit me to cat because like, you know, can't really get to me. A saw cuts things around it in a square shape. They saw my passive healing going off there. So yeah, we're healing up from like the necklace, I guess. It was in those days that Mabacus touched the world and made it his own. On the other I do like the graphics, but I mean, you need far more, and it's like, you know, um, nice looking graphics for a game. Withered heart, an adventurous old heart that has begun to decay, grants 2d6 decay health. Chest plate, designed to keep you safe, provides four defense. Okay. There's a blazing wand. Again, I can't seem to figure out how to use the wand, so. Did it work? I 
You almost feel you should probably be able to just, like, you know, eat stuff off the ground for some of the stuff. If you want. I'll note I sorely missed the bump attack. A pile of scrap waste grants 8 bleed chance as well as 9 venom chance. Is that for me or enemies? Acute hand axe. Eh, whatever. I think mine is uh, better. You know, I'll make a note by the way. I would even prefer just having like the space bar be used for like weight if like you know you have this sort of setup where, you know, Q W E A um A S D Z and like C. However. Alright, I feel I've basically gone long enough. I shouldn't have gone down here, and that basically sort of like, you know, just sort of like, you know, completely like identifies with like my experience, you think, for this game. It wasn't really worth my time, I don't think, so there's a lot to improve here. Hopefully this might be, um, you know, interesting to the developer to basically see. Hope people enjoy watching, and take care.